Bo counts to the stage, please. Bo, where are you, man? We got a, we got a great show live. Whoa. Extreme co-host. Turbo Dan, are you guest co-hosting for Bo Counts tonight? That's why I'm here. <laughs> I don't even know where he goes. We'll see how this goes later. Turbo Dan, you need to find a shirt. Like the moves that you're doing on purpose, sing like a sing don't key. Talk to the girl that intimidates you, pretend that you're brilliant and charming. I said pretend that you're brilliant and charming. Hey! everybody welcome later with jason sewell so glad that you are tuned in the band sounds great turbo dan joining me as guest co-host on this episode thanks for being here yeah, man it's great to be here jason thanks for having me yeah absolutely so what's been going on with you recently well uh you know we started up the turbo dan extremely yeah. extreme sport school to the extreme yes <laughs> uh yeah, so we started that up, and I've just been trying to get that off the ground. How's it going? The ex Turbo Dan's, let me see if I can get it right. Turbo Dan's Extremely Extreme School of Extreme Sports to the Extreme. Yes, that's right. That's uh, how, how's that been going? I usually going? just call it TDCs. <laughs> TDCs, yes. Yeah. Uh, people, have people signed up? Oh, a couple people have, yeah. Uh, they weren't quite extreme enough. They didn't really know what they were getting, uh, getting <laughs> themselves into, so they only lasted about a week, and, uh, you know, I really hope their injuries heal. <laughs> So did they quit because they got injured or did they quit because they weren't extreme enough and you kicked them out of the school? I mean, it's a little bit of both. Okay. It? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I didn't even recognize you when you first uh, showed up today because I don't see the, the unitard. Well, on. I mean, you asked me to dress nice, so I, I did. did. But, you know, I, the can, station. I, I can pop this off whenever you're ready to go. The station said, man, Turbo Dan is going to need to wear a little more clothes if you're going to be on as guest co-host. So yeah, well, I appreciate I, you. I oblige. But, you know, if we ever want to undo, we, we can do <laughs> you're that. You're ready to do it. Yep. Man, Northwest Arkansas, what's one of your favorite things to do now that we're getting into the fall season? Is it, is it pushing people out of a crop duster, which I know is one of the courses that you yeah, offer? Yeah, I've, I've been doing that a lot <laughs> lately. Uh, I mean, pushing myself out because the first two people didn't really, uh, didn't really tuck and roll like they're <laughs> supposed to. Uh, but I've been practicing, and I'm getting really, really good at it. Yes, well, we're so glad to have you on. Of course, you are an extreme sports expert, and nothing is extreme enough for you. But, you know, we've got a guest on today, and I don't want to say that she's your nemesis, but I know that you and her have kind of conflicted and sparred over a few things over the years. We have, and I, I, I bet that she's wanting to get some revenge for all the times that I've beaten her in the past. <laughs> oh, is that it? Yeah, uh, and, and, you know... it. <laughs> It's, it's a friendly rivalry, but, you know, I, I assume that there's some bitterness on her half. Okay. On her end of it. Well, yeah. we can find out when we get her in the hot seat later on. Brandy Goddard joining us, healthy lifestyle coach. We're going to be talking a little bit about meal prep. I don't know what you do for meal prep or if you just go all out and eat everything oh, in sight. What do you do? I've been prepping. Oh, you've been prepping? Yeah. Oh, we can talk about that later, yeah, too. Yeah, I, I brought my dinner. Are you trying to one-up uh, Brandy today as well in that department? I mean, I, I do think that my meal is going to be more simple and more tasty, yeah. if that's what you're saying. <laughs> okay, more tasty. I can't wait, wait to see where this goes. We've also got the band Irie Lyons joining us on the program. Fayette Tunes, a music video filmed right here at Fayetteville Public Television. And then our usual co-host, Bo Council and myself, we got outside of the studio. We went to Cheers at the OPO in downtown Fayetteville for a really fun chef segment. All that stuff, it's all packed in. It's crammed in tight to this 30-minute episode. Stay with us. All the fun's happening later. <laughs> Yes, everybody, welcome back later with Jason Sewell. Turbo Dan, your your place is the podium. You're in the The, po the, the podium? Yes. I thought I would. Fine, Brandy. <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry. <laughs> Man, you guys have this weird rivalry oh, going on. Brandy Goddard's here, healthy lifestyle coach. Thanks for being here, Brandy. Yes, it's great to be here. Yeah, it all goes back, I feel like, to that one time we came out and did an obstacle course with you, and yes. Turbo Dan really feel like he did a good job at the obstacle course, but I think you kind of showed him up. I don't know, what do you remember from that, Turbo Dan? Uh, I think Brandy was trying to keep up with me the entire time. That's what I remember. <laughs> That's how you remember it. Okay, good, good. Uh, we're talking about meal prep, right? Yes, yes. yes. So, so important. it is important, mm -hmm. right? We're talking about healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. What does that even mean, meal prep? How do you start? Yeah, well, you want to start with like having time and planning exactly the first thing to do and just understanding your lifestyle and how it's going to work for yourself. Okay. So people can just like understand that anyone that's busy, I'm ha I have two jobs right now, so it is very important to find that little time yeah. for prepping and, and sometimes it might be two or three days or just put in whatever you had that night for the next day and make it easy. Yes, yeah, so you prepare that's yes. what prep's all about, yes. right? That's what it means. Have you brought some examples? I see I a bag did. down there at your feet. Let me show you right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did three things for you. Just I gave, um, you know, just a normal meal of chicken spinach meatballs. Ooh. Yeah, and I got. Did these. you make these? I did. I actually just air fried these. I'm the big air fryer person. <laughs> Changed the it. game when air fryers came out. I mean, it really is. The flavor's so good in them, and you just look at it, put it back. It's not ready. Yeah. I love it. Yes, I'm with so, you. <laughs> you'll start looking at food as more nutrients and energy mm -hmm. instead of like emotional and you support. Yeah. My emotional like I'm support. Eat all of it. So I'm going to eat my one. feelings. Yeah. I need these nachos. And then what happens is right. that you're like completely full and mad at yourself. Right. Speaking of nachos, yeah. my oh. next one yeah. is more of like a. It is a up, let me, uh, yeah, let me, yeah keep this one out here. Okay. Smells good. Thanks. Keep it in front of me. Yes. Um, so this is actually sweet potato nachos. Oh, it's it's Mexican night. Yes. It looks like That's yes. My favorite kind of food. And again, you get really full on this. I just added a tortilla if you want to make it into a taco. But um, with this, I sliced all my sweet potatoes the night before and added all the seasoning on it, and then baked it in the oven about 400, easy, and then bring it out with a little bit of um, canned black beans. Ooh. And now you're making this sound fancy. What of us that aren't know, so fancy? I know, I know. This will, we'll say that's the simple, and okay. this is when you want to really get into you it. Step it up a notch. Yeah, step it up a notch and make enough where it lasts for three days. Okay, yeah. So you can eat it alone or even put that on the side or like make a taco. What you else? Gotta you got smell one more? Yeah. Yes, one more. So this would be considered snack, or I actually like to say after you work out. This okay. is exactly what you need. Everyone always asks, what do you want after? You do a workout, I'm saying whey protein or protein, some good carbs that will also replenish your muscles. This is homemade granola. Ooh, homemade? I, yes, I did it. I'm so excited I'm proud about of you. this. And just kind of threw it all together and it tastes amazing. So you have to take a bite later. Okay, I totally will. Okay. Yes. I did Greek yogurt and just did fresh strawberries or whatever fruit you want. But yeah. I did use a little cup that's already you get from the store just to show it fits perfectly and just yep. scooped it in there. And this granola um, will last for weeks. So I just dumped that and it is a complete perfect meal if you're full like for a snack or after I set a workout yeah mm -hmm. replenish you I yeah, like that totally yes uh, turbo Dan these food choices look amazing I know that you brought a little that you have something down there that you use for meal prep as well can we see can yeah we see what well that is? Jason you told me we were doing some meal prep in today so yes. I went ahead and brought uh, tonight's dinner uh, <laughs> And I can assure you this is much easier than anything Brandy just described. <laughs> uh, first of all, I've got uh, a couple eggs here. Uh, are they hard boiled or are they just oh, no. eggs? What do you think I'm gonna cook all the nutrients out of these things? <laughs> okay. No, uh, usually I just like to pop them into my mouth whole, uh, shell and all. Um, <laughs> Sometimes if I'm if I'm feeling fancy, I poke a little hole in the top and just suck out the juice. Oh man, uh, that's that's usually Delicious. how I like to do mm. it. Uh, then of course got me a, a can of tuna. Um, that's that's real good for you. Are um, you dating anybody right now? I'm just am wondering. I? No. Yeah. Okay. Good. No, not at all. Uh, <laughs> they could smell you coming from a you, mile away. I'll I'm not sure that. why you would even ask that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but so, yeah, can of tuna, just crack it open and good just to go. Just crack it open? Do you have a can opener? A what? <laughs> a can opener? Do you? Oh, I'm not, I'm not following. <laughs> How do you open the can of tuna? How do you open any can of tuna, Jason? You just smack it on the ground a little bit. I do have to give Turbo Dan some credit because mm -hmm. he put some thought into that. Put, at least put some stuff in a bag. Yeah, he did. He put eggs and tuna. Those are not bad. Yeah. Just the way it was prepared is a little interesting. One more question yes. before, because meal prep is awesome, but it's also fall in the Ozarks is a great time mm -hmm. to get outside. What's mm -hmm. one thing you would say to our viewers if you were going to try to motivate people maybe to do something, step outside of their comfort zone and do something active this season? What would you well, say? Well, you know, going with meal prepping, maybe make something like, picnic type of food Ooh. 
Yeah. yeah, and then put it in a backpack and find like a new hike that you haven't done in a while and yeah. create a picnic atmosphere, but you're out walking and getting in the hills. I think that'd be something to start with for activity. Well, if people want to reach out to you as a healthy lifestyle coach, mm -hmm. what's the best way to do that? I would just say go to my website. It's yeah. got everything that you need there for my personal training and life coaching, and it's just simply brandygoddard.com. Brandygoddard.com. Mm -hmm. You heard it here, folks. Check her out. She's doing great stuff. Thanks for being here as oh, always, great. Brandy. Thank you. Uh, thanks for coming on when Turbo Dan was also here. I know oh, that can yeah. cause some friction, but hey, I can handle it. In my opinion, you always come out on top, so. <laughs> right. Yes. Stay with us, folks. We've got more fun happening later. Celebrating 10 seasons all year long on Later with Jason Sewell. Our musical guest brought to you by Walton Art Center. Walton Art Center, presenting the West Street Live series. For our chef segment today, we're outside of the studio. We're here at Cheers at the OPO, and I can't wait. Woo! Me either. I decided if there's food, there's Bo. So we're going to do it. Bo's here. Food's inside. Let's head in and see what we find out. We're here in the kitchen at Cheers at the OPO. Chef Pat is joining us. Thanks for having us out, Pat. Thank you. This Thanks looks often awesome. What are we having? We are going to have a blackened snapper with shrimp and andouille etouffee. Ooh. Cajun cooking. Good. Cajun cooking. That's uh, primarily what we do at the, at the OPO. 
Um, I like this mise en place you got going on here. Yeah, this is the things in their places. Okay. okay. We got some chopped up andouille sausage. Like, it's a really good high end andouille sausage. Yum. We got some white wine going there and got That's some spicy spice stuff. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a sip if you like. Go ahead. No one's using this <laughs> ramekin. We'll just get in there. Um, Wait, you've already got some cheers, stuff guys. I here typically too. drink straight out of the bottle, but you know, we yeah. can be civilized. I don't want to cross contaminate until we've done cooking. Now, we're, we're just going to uh, cook this to render out a little bit of the fat from the andouille. We don't want the fat to be gone, we want it to stay in here. We're going to throw in our onions, our peppers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that you're making two. Make one know. for now and one for later. Yeah, it's it like me. It works. A little bit of carrot, a little bit of celery. The rest goes into my big pot. Um, another thing we want to add is a little bit of salt, and the salt is going to help uh, sweat out the flavor from this. It's going to draw the moisture as we're cooking these veggies. Also, don't come get me, chefs. Edufe is traditionally made with the blonde root. I'm not gonna use a root. Ooh, what? So this is going on rice. I'm not gonna use a root, I'm gonna use cornstarch. The reason I'm doing that is, to me, it tastes a little cleaner. Um, all the flavors come out more. The flour seems to dumb down the other fresh flavors from the veggies. So I don't use a root on my Edufe. Okay. Um, if I'm making gumbo, if I'm making gumbo, yeah, I'm gonna use a root. Um, but the etouffee, I do not. Okay, weird. Man. Look how pretty and, and colorful that has become. No. Oh my goodness, and you smell it on the screen. It's freaking beautiful. Now the good Etou part. Etouffee typically does have tomato in it. It, it doesn't not. always have to have uh, wine in it, but today it is. Yeah, no roux, add wine. My yes. kind of time. This is also where we're going to add some of our fish broth. Fish water. I forgot about right. that. So, you would think that uh, fish water, that sounds really gross, but packed with smell flavor. That, tell me that doesn't smell good. I oh, mean, it yeah. smells good. Totally. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to let, let it reduce by half. I've filled that pan almost to the top. I'll let it reduce by half. Okay. I'm also going to hit it with just a little bit of cream. So we're just using heavy cream, 40% cream. You can get it at Walmart or wherever. I don't care. Gotcha. Um, you can get it from a local farmer if you're, you know, have a soul and want to go to heaven. Fables Farmer's Market right outside. Next step on this etouffee sauce, we need to add our shrimp. The in order for it to be the shrimp in a new etouffee. So I'm going to put a fair amount of shrimp. And what I did was I took the peels off of them, I deveined them, I saved all of that stuff that went into that fish broth. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All the flavor bits. Now this is done. That sauce is ready. It's ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Next step. We need to blacken our fish. Yeah. So, okay. what we're going to do there is we're going to take that blackened spice. Uh, like I said, we make our own here. Uh, you can just buy Chef Paul Perdones if you want to, or you could buy, uh, there's all sorts of brands. Uh, uh, Tony Satchery. Tony Satchery's, any of those. Saturans. Yes, they all have a blackening spice. They all sound very Cajun. Now, it seems like you put a lot on there to me, but that's the right amount. Oh, you yeah. want a lot on there. Because it's going to make a crust, It's right? going to make a crust, it's going to make it spicy, and, and, and it's going to make it uh, nice and black, as, which is what we want it to be. We're going to do a mixture of oils, okay? Bacon fat. I'm going to do bacon fat and butter this time, okay? Ooh, double up. Butter is actually good for you. Everybody wants to boo-hoo it, but... And so is bacon fat. Lard is actually better for you than uh, uh, coconut oil, they say. Study, studies have shown. So so there's a, you know, a short, short chain fatty acid, you know yeah. what that is? So that that's going to be... In and butter and that helps feed your gut villi and uh, that is what uh, that is what absorbs all the nutrients from your food so if you don't have enough short chain fatty acids in your diet you're gonna basically be mal malnourished eat more butter like gentlemen eat more you butter. heard it here first from yeah. a chef not just a local local all right so now we're not going to touch this we're going to let it cook on high heat for about two to three minutes okay we want to actually get you're, you're literally burning the spices a bit. So it's just gonna create a great flavor, you know, along with the fact that that smokiness from the bacon fat um, and the richness from the butter are gonna soak into that fish a little bit. Ooh. So you wanna just take a peek at it first. Make sure it's Ooh. got nice and dark. So we're gonna take this heavy piece of metal. I'm gonna put it on top of it. Make sure that we have full contact with that pan. Yeah. Full contact cooking. Full contact, yeah. 
Okay, that's just about done. I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna start plating up. So I know Bo is hungry, so we'll do All of our stomachs are growling. Okay, okay. All right, we're gonna give this real big piece to Bo because Daddy's piece. Mmm. We got our oh my gosh. Man, that sauce looks Look at that. Dude, this you will not slap your mom. You will punch your mom directly in the face. <laughs> yes. When you try to Look out, sauce. mom's in the at home right now. Yeah. We're coming for you. Oh, man. Oh, dude, look at all that shrimp and andouille. And the consistency is just perfect. You know, it is. Yeah. It is. And it's so much easier than a roux. A roux, if you're cooking a roux, it takes a long time. You're going to start doing it. You're going to have to have a drink. You start drinking, next thing you know, yeah. you're having a hoot nanny in the backyard. Bo's out in the church parking lot doing donuts with his truck. Holy Mary. All right, Mother let's bread. do it. Look at that. And just sprinkle a little over the top, around the edges, however you like to do it. Uh, I can do this. Got, oh, uh, uh, look at uh, that. And ta-da! Yeah, don't say bang when we get, we get copywritten. Okay, I did it. You did it. <laughs> look at what I made, guys. There we go. Chef, this looks awesome. Let's go sit down and try it out. Thanks so much to Chef Pat for having us out, this delicious food. Oh. Can't and, wait. I mean, the best part is you get a lovely view of the downtown square, and Jason, it's so seldom we get to have such a lovely lunch with each other. It's so rare, I can't wait to dive into this food. Check out your screen right now, the hours of operation, as well as the menu for cheers here at the OPO. And speaking of cheers, cheers! Cheers! Let's eat! Let's eat! Mm. Cheers, everybody! everybody thank you for tuning in remember you can find us out there on your social media platform send us an email over at laterwithjasonsewell.com and before we leave this episode we've got to thank our guests i'd like to thank me turbo dan <laughs> thank you thank you yourself i love it thank you to fayetteville public television for the irie lions music video from fayette tunes also thanks to our friends at cheers at the opo for that great chef segment and thanks to brandy god for prepping this meal for us this looks delicious i can't wait to try it that's our show we'll see you later alligator and after a while crocodile